Hello friends, my name is Jewett and this is Answer Not, a compelling, heartfelt, short narrative walking simulator. It tells the story of a damsel in distress and a man who doesn't answer the phone. Let's get started. Hey Zach. Okay, I wasn't calling for anything Zach. in particular, I just wanted to talk to you. It's not that I'm bored or anything, not at all. Tuesdays are always a lot of fun. And Stacy got that right. Fucking Stacy. Fucking Stacy. I said I didn't have enough work already. Anywho. Yeah, don't forget to book this year's destination, okay? Since you're not over busy working from home. No, mister, you're not fooling me. I know you didn't forget about it. Yep, I saw the catalogs on the table, Zach. Learn to hide your evidence, sweetheart. <laughs> and I also know how much you love these messages, but come on. Sometimes I just dream of you answering the phone so I don't feel like a crazy person talking to herself all the time. Maybe Zach dreams of... Jeff's coming. Okay, talk to you later. Love calling. you. Stacy and her great habit of leaving Fucking work early. Stacey. Yeah, as usual. Right. You know, this time I had to proofread her whole paper before I went into print. Anyway, I'll be home in about an hour. Hey, could you please get the chicken out of the freezer for tonight? Thanks. See you in a bit. Love you. Love you. The Bright Club. First rule of Bright Club. You have to wash. Okay. Let's get that chicken. Zach, do you need anything from the drugstore? I just stopped to buy cigarettes and I'm looking at the beers right now. Ah, well, if you could answer the phone, it might make things easier for me. But yeah, just call me back quickly if you want some. Oh. But please do check if there are any left before you make me buy new ones, okay? Love you. See ya. Since you haven't called me back, I assume you didn't want beer. Okay, but actually, I'm calling because I'm stuck in traffic right now. Can you believe this? Lord, uh, another shitty day, yeah. Traffic at almost 8 p.m. What the fuck, right? That definitely makes me want to be on a motorcycle it's right now. Stacy. And yeah, I know. You're always right, I know. But you don't need to get out all the motorcycle ads before I arrive, you know? I'm not gonna buy one today. Okay, don't get too bored while waiting for your dear wife to crawl home. Love you. Can't go to the garage. <clears throat> this place is a mess. Sweet. Oh, look, motorcycle. Okay. It's a sweet ride. Take it out. Oh, 
God, I'm, I'm, I'm still stuck in the same traffic jam, but I don't know, something's weird. That's Cars cool. are barely moving one inch an hour. And first I thought it was an accident, but it looks like cops are inspecting the cars as if they were looking for something. Have you heard anything about a terrorist attack? Like, on the radio or in the paper? I really hope not. Call me back as soon as you can, okay? Please. I'm not gonna call you back. Breaking news! If you're planning on going in and out of the City of Roses, you'll have to be patient. Unexpected traffic jams have paralyzed the City of Portland. Many people are still trying to get home as we speak. The cause is still unknown, but Helen, I'm sure, is just another poor dog locked in a car. More on that later, but now, here's some jazz. Wyoming on fire. Destructive fire gaining ground in Wyoming. Okay. Some new lizards. The lizard people. The lizard people are taking over. They already have in our government. Slowly they morph. <laughs> A dangerous psychiatric patient escaped and scares drivers on Route 26. Is that in Portland? Portland around 3 p.m. on Sunday. Drivers on their way to Portland through Route 26 got a big scare. Indeed, a man described as extremely tall and barely clothed started walking busy driveway as the car drove by him on the driveway. <laughs> Witnesses say that he stood in the middle of the road and then tried to follow the cars. When we passed him, when we, when we, when we passed him by, what? When, when, when we passed him purchase, he stared at us with a strange look on his face. I know some newspaper editors that uh, would make this mistake. Others reported that the man tried to jump onto their car and attack them. Most simply observed the man... Oh, most simply observed the man, excuse me. They described as disoriented, standing on the side of the road. Well, hell, that's up here in town where I live. Authorities didn't take long to take the deranged man into care and remove him from the area. The police liaison, David Dupin, revealed the man was patient of the Newmark psyche, Psychiatry Ward. escaped earlier that day authority have not authority have not yet revealed the identity of the man oh, of the said patient but claimed the situation was under control and that the man was not a danger to the population anymore Newmark Hospital failed to provide any new information or comment on the case and is remaining silent it was all more fear than harm in the end all right, let's take the paper. Hey, Zach, it's me again. You won't believe it. A cop made us all get out of our cars, and, and now, now we're all waiting for a bus? No explanation? I, I don't know what the fuck's going on. I, I had to leave all my work in the car. Like, how am I going to get it back? You're as dumb as Stacy. It's really out of order tonight. Not to mention, you're not answering the frigging phone, and it's really frustrating. What are you even doing? Did you get all the messages? If you're falling asleep, I will find out, you know. You always make such a mess on the couch, and you never clean up, and I... 
Oh. I knew it was a mess. Let's go. A bus has arrived. Wait. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get it on the bus. Okay, I'll, I'll call you back. Okay. Something tells me they're not gonna take her home. This is really detailed. <laughs> what is that noise? What's the point of having a phone if you don't answer it? Ugh. Sleep at night, mister. Anyhow, I'm on the bus. It's supposed to take us out of the city. I, I don't know exactly where they'll drop us, but... I'll manage to find a way home. I think they got this under control. Whatever this is. The strangest thing is that no one even knows what's going on. It's, Someone said he heard that strange things happen all over town. Did you hear anything back home? Is everything, like, normal? I heard some creakies. I don't want to sound alarming, but... You still have the gun somewhere, right? Good. It's still loaded, isn't it? I, I have absolutely no idea what it could be, but... I've seen strange people standing on the side of the road, like... They popped out of nowhere, and... Please call me if you hear or see anything, or nah. even just nah, to let me know you're I not dead. Nah, fam, I ain't Hypnotism. Calvin gave this for you yesterday, as a warning. He's all into sleepwalking, cures, and mind-blocking powers against evil forces now. His latest theory is that you'll end up a brainless puppet that follows everything I say if I keep talking to you in your sleep. Next time we visit, give your brother a hug and tell him you love him, will you? He's already growing to dislike me. And please, don't read this bullshit. Preface by Professor Severus Xavier. Gun. But perhaps that is gunfire. What's this? Oh. PlayStation 1. <laughs> it's on the shopping list. That's awesome. Oh, okay. Alright. Let's see. dropped us somewhere near Pinwheel Street, and they told me a shuttle to Campbell Center would come any minutes. I'm almost there, okay? Hi. Uh, an old guy said that aliens have come. That's nice. what nice. we're facing. That they're everywhere. Those are people. God, that doesn't make sense, right? Aliens? Come on. He said crazy things, and he had like a panic attack, and some cops had to calm him down, and... Well, listen. According to a security guard, the shuttle will drop me in our street at 10 sharp. 
please make sure you're here at 10 o'clock, Zach, okay? Please, keep an eye on the clock and don't let me down. What do aliens even look like? That's, that's insane. Just, just call me back, Oh please. shit, it's already 10 o'clock. Why it arrived so late? That alien story spread and now everyone's convinced we're like invaded down here. I'm keeping my voice down because everyone's so tense. Oh, I can't wait for this night to end. Okay. Please, Zach, wake up and call me back, please. I really need to hear your voice right now. I don't know what led to this strange creature's bullshit, but please lock everything up, okay? And stay inside. Lock up the windows, too. You stay inside until I come back, okay? Don't let anything come in. Be safe. Let's lock these windows. I'm wondering if the creeping isn't coming from the attic. Whatever is upstairs. What is that? That was Answer Not. If you enjoyed the game, uh, it's free on Steam. If you enjoyed the video, slam that yeet button and ring that liberty bell for more content. I plan on doing this on a regular basis. Uh, if you made it this far, thank you. And I'll see you in the next video.